Get the latest on what's going on this earnings season, meets, beats, and more in Zach's Earnings Scorecard. And the person who is going to help you keep score of the companies reporting this earnings season, yet to report, Eric Dutram, who uh, keeps his eye on the calendar as far as reports coming out versus your radar screen with what is it is you're looking at out of these companies. And the first uh, group that you've got here, there's only two, but these are in the 3D printing space. That's right. And 3D printing has been a really in, uh, interesting industry over the last couple weeks and months here. We've seen shares really fall back uh, heading into the last couple weeks and months. But now it seems like, hey, maybe these companies have finally bottomed out. So this report will probably set the tone you know, for the rest of the year for these two companies. Some investors are starting to feel a little bit better about the space. And we've seen a 3D printing ETF get launched as well. So. Oh. So we'll see uh, how that goes. But uh, first up, we have 3D systems, mm -hmm. symbols triple D. Uh, if we look to the chart here, we can see what I'm talking about in terms of the recent performance. Uh, back in 2014, shares were at about $96 a share. But then after that, it really took a dive here. And it was trading in the low single digits for a while in uh, early 2016. Now, we can see shares moved up a bit here uh, over the past couple weeks and months. But you know, it still remains a little depressed in this you know, $13 range. Uh, earnings estimates have also come back a bit. We can see this trend uh, still going a bit lower. The stock does have a uh, Zacks rank number three and a hold ranking right now um, and a D for fundamentals. So not really a whole lot to like about this going into the report, especially when the, with the miss in the previous quarter. Yeah, I remember when uh, this concept first came out. It started out pretty strong, then kind of uh, fell off a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Everyone was really, really thought this was going to be the next big thing, but maybe you know the next big thing is going to take a little bit, little bit longer to play out. Yeah, maybe when it becomes more affordable for the consumer. Market. Definitely, definitely. Uh, and then also we have uh, Stratasys. They're yeah. a, another three D printing company. They report uh, before the bell on the fourth. Uh, this company. Uh, has a little bit more of a consumer focus, so it might be a better play. Uh, but, you know, it's had a similar trend over the last couple of years in terms of its price performance. If we look to the chart here, we can see a similar trend with shares up around that $136 range, uh, once again, early 2014. And then this, you know, huge fall down into, once again, low single digits, uh, mid-teens. Uh, one good thing about Stratasys, though, is it has a history of earnings beats in these last five quarters. So a little bit better trend on this front. And then also the company is seeing a little bit better numbers in terms of its EPS outlook, in terms of the, uh, the consensus estimate. So it might be a slightly better play for investors here right now, but both are a little bit dicey. Uh, it also has a Zacks rank number three and a D for its fundamental score. So for both these companies, you really got to look for the long term um, if you, if you want to be an investor in either one. Be great if they could print out some triple digit earnings, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you own either of these? I, two? I do have uh, some Stratasys. I am looking for that for the long term. So. Okay. All right. <laughs> Check out more earnings information on our website, zax.com. Link to it all off the homepage. There's more than just what's on the homepage, so you may want to go through some of those other sections to get to see what it is you're looking for with regard to earnings in the second quarter and beyond. With Eric, I'm Terry Ruffalo.